Morning guys, hope you're all well. Today we're not actually driving any cars, however I am going to show you something which is going to make your driving of your car a more uh, pleasurable experience and it's this little thing here. It's the AI Box Lite from the lovely people at One Car Stereo. Now if you're in the situation where I am, where you've got the wired version of Apple CarPlay and Android Audio, but you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I, I don't like these wires, they're making a, a mess in my car, I don't like them. If I had the wireless version that would make my life immeasurably better. Well, my friends you are in luck because that is exactly what this little chap does which is great and really cool on its own but it also lets you have access to things like YouTube and Netflix and various other streaming services so it's kind of like uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, but even better but my point is I only ever do these videos when it's a product that I genuinely genuinely like and use myself and I think that you guys are gonna uh, benefit from and enjoy it as well so we're gonna be having a look at it we're gonna be uh, using it in the car showing you what it can do and uh, generally talking about how how great it is so as you can see it comes in a very nice neat little box feels really good quality we'll just uh, tease tease the top off gently like that and there you've got the instruction manual as well as some other setup guide and things there I'm, I'm not really an, an instruction reader to be honest but if you uh, if you are there we go you can read through those instructions as you can see a very nice neat little unit there that's all it is very small, very compact. It could easily go in the uh, little box under your armrest. Uh, now, this is what I really like about this. So, you've got lots of wires in here, and you're probably thinking to yourself, my God, why does it need all these wires? Well, it's really good because it gives you lots of options. So, depending on what sockets you've got in your car. So, for example, if you've got a newer car and you've got the USB-C sockets, you've got a USB-C there to normal USB. And then you've got an option either end of this as well. So, that one's a USB-C, that one is a normal USB. So, you could plug that one into there and then that one to the end of your car. However, if you have, uh, if you don't want to be using the old style USBs, then you can use uh, two USB-Cs. Uh, so, you flip it around to that end, one goes in there there and one goes into your car boom however it does not stop there because have a look at this little fellow so this is the normal classic usbs right however look at this you've got the female usb uh, bit there so when you plug this bit into your car you don't lose out on a socket you can still charge something up by putting it in there or whatever and that's that's so good i love all these options i particularly love that one i wish i wish more products would do that i think it's brilliant so here we go i'm in the jaguar i'm sat on my driveway i'm thinking to myself i want to enjoy some some wireless Apple CarPlay. So as you can see over here, I've got it plugged into my normal USB there, and it just, just fits in there very, very nicely. It takes up very little room indeed. Now, this is my screen over here on my Jaguar, so I just need to go to Apple CarPlay, and boom, there we go. you got the main screen here. So the first one you would go to would be the CarPlay, like this. So you have to wait for a second while it loads. It just connects to the Bluetooth on your phone. You do that by going to the uh, menu on your phone, and then it connects. There we go very quickly so you just got uh, uh, the normal Apple CarPlay there but there is no wires involved got all the whatever various apps you got on there got my radio app there I've also got my parking stuff you've also got Spotify on here as well so you can go on there and listen to music that's brilliant um, what else have we got on here I've got my audible app as well so I can go on there and listen to nice my nice audio books and it's just generally got everything that you would do in your Apple CarPlay now let's come out of this and then we will go into the apps. Now, this is where you get a little bit more than you would get usually in Apple CarPlay. So you've got YouTube over here. We can go into YouTube and um, once it's loaded, there we go. We can type in Bobby Freeman Drives. It's just searching for that now. And before you know it, hello there. Who's this uh, strange looking gentleman leaning on the on the hood of a car. There he is. Look at this. Look at this funny looking chap. And we can scroll down and there is my channel. It's amazing. Look, oh, look at my stupid face. I look like an extra from Lord of the Rings, don't I? But anyway, you can scroll down here and watch all my wonderful videos. There's my KM one, there's my Lexus one, the TVR one. It's amazing. It's literally YouTube on your car. It's like living in the future. Then whenever you want to go back, you just press this little icon here and you press either back or you can press the home button and it goes back to the screen here. You can also move those about. They're customizable. You can move them around the screen so you can have them wherever you want. Um, so that's YouTube. You've also got a uh, video player there. You've also got a uh, music player and obviously Netflix as well. And this is going to be another good one and one of the main really, really cool features of this, uh, this amazing little box. We'll just sign in there. And before you know it, there we go. Cobra Kai there, one of my favorite shows. And you scroll down and you've got Netflix. Look at this. 
literally got Netflix in your car. You can watch anything you want. Well, not anything, anything provided it's on Netflix. I think this is just absolutely brilliant. Look at that, it's awesome. Then back to the main menu and you've got a dedicated Netflix button there which takes you straight through to Netflix as well. And then if you want to exit, you just press this button here, exit, car mode takes you back into the normal cars menu. And then you've got a music player on the end as well. So you, you've literally got everything you can possibly want. So that's it to be honest guys, it's just a genuinely brilliant little product that I thought you would enjoy, especially if you're in the same situation as me where you've got the wired Apple CarPlay or Android Auto and um, you'd like all the benefits of the uh, wireless version. So if you are interested and you want to buy it, I put a, uh, a link in the section below so you can go and do so. Uh, I also, sadly, in this day and age, have to say, uh, please don't watch YouTube or any other videos or, or Netflix or anything whilst you're driving on because you will probably end up in big trouble and possibly in the ditch with a ruined car. Can't believe I have to say that. But anyway, if you've enjoyed my video, don't forget, as always, to express your enjoyment by pressing the like button and, of course, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and if you want to be extra kind, you can head over to the Patreon page and become an official supporter of the show. Until next time, guys, I'm Bobby Freeman. Drive safe.